Okay, so this video is a long time coming. Uh, I I want to go over a few things that's been out in my mind and how the channel is going to be changing, and I and kind of go through just also what I hear people say and either tell them they're correct or or correct them. So first. I'm also going to put some timestamps in the description, so if you like, oh, I've already heard him talk about this, just skip through to whatever that is. And the first thing I want to talk about is just why did I start Speedcube Review? I already had built a website in the past on violin strings. I am a professional violinist. I have a master's degree in music, and that's my full-time job. Uh, just yesterday, I performed in Detroit at the Gem Theater and they're usually weddings or I teach lessons, but that's my main job. And so I had a website dedicated to reviewing violin strings. Why did I make that? That sort of website didn't exist. It, no one had done that really. And I was like, this is, would be a useful thing because when you go to a lot of websites where people buy stuff from, it, it's hard to always trust those reviews or at least trust them to be super fair because often when someone buys it, they're interested in already getting it. And if you know if something doesn't work out, Hopefully the, the company is good enough to just refund them or get them something better. That sort of works. So I just want to make a website like that. And that was nice. That's what I did. And then when I got really into cubing, which was not too long ago, I think it was 2014. Wow. No, it had to be like 2015 maybe. But either way, there wasn't a big website on how to... Uh, or a good review website. There was the speed solving forum, there were shops, and that was mainly it. So I sort of cloned the site from speed, from violin string review to speed cube review. Now I don't have a lot of coding experience and it wasn't self running. Like it wasn't like I could just throw a cube in it on the, like the site and it makes its own page and everything. I had to go through all the work of putting it all together and, and it's very drag and drop using templates and stuff like that. So it's not, honestly not a great site. And yeah, that took off. Now, when I built the site, I wrote a lot of people asking if they wanted to contribute. I want to make this a community thing, something to help other YouTubers as well. And, and a lot of people did a lot of, and I even told them, I was like, I don't plan to make any YouTube channel. This is just for this website. And uh, like I've said in the past, I feel really guilty about starting a YouTube channel, but yeah, I started a channel because some things on the site needed videos to accompany it. And if you look at some of my earliest videos, it's very basic. I'm not even talking for some of them. It's just sort of like a visual to go with things on the site. Turns out I like making videos. It's something I really enjoy doing. So I started making more videos and that's where it all came from. That, that's basically it. I started a website because something like that didn't exist. And then I enjoy making videos. So I continued to make videos. That's where the channel came from. So what were my goals? Why am I doing this? Well. My goal is to just, one, enjoy. Enjoy making videos, enjoy making content. And the other one is to help other people. My main thought was, when I got into it, it was a little intimidating. I remember asking a question on the Speed Solving Forum and getting a lot of people being like, why would you think that? Why are you doing this? And it was not very welcoming. There are very welcoming people there, but it, it almost seemed like, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't talk. With that said, I do tell people sometimes when you're starting out, go to forums and just linger, just check out things. But um, but yeah, so it wasn't very inviting. And, and a lot of the videos were not accessible. So I made videos that I felt would be really well suited to help educate people, get people interested that weren't too intimidating. With that said, in the past four or five years, people like, like, J Perm have made amazing tutorials. Like whenever he comes out with one, I watch and I'm like, yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> so um, yeah, my main goal is to just educate those who are getting into it, specifically those who are, who are starting out um, and have fun. That's my main goal. I didn't have a goal to get um, sponsors. That wasn't a goal of mine. Companies started to reach out to me and I reached out to some companies but my big thing was being neutral. I didn't want to be stuck with just one company. I wanted to just kind of do my own thing. Well, that only worked out for, you know, I don't know, not even a year before most companies were like, it's either us 
like only us or or not doing anything with you. And a lot of companies just started not talking to me because either I worked with only them or no one. And, and Cameron from Speedcube Shop was super, super, super nice and super generous. And by the end, it was literally just him left. And so after turning down sponsorships from places, I was like, okay, Cameron, let's do this. <laughs> We're doing this thing now. So that's how I ended up with Speedcube Shop. And with all this said, I'm kind of rambling a bit, but I want this to just be a video going through everything. So feel free to listen and enjoy, or feel free to be like, this is boring and shut it off if you want. But uh, so my goal has never been to grow my channel. Sort of, you know, I mean, the bigger the channel is, the more people will watch, the more people I can help and, and educate. So of course you can't say that completely, but when I had 100 subscribers, I was just in awe of that. And a thousand I thought was insane. I am pushing 100,000 subscribers. And when I get that that YouTube plaque, it's going on my wall right next to all my uh, my degrees. I've got my uh, bachelor's of music education, my master of music, and my best of awards. But it's going right down there. But for me, it's just a journey that I'm doing. And I'm super grateful that other people are basically joining me on this journey. I've gotten comments sometimes which honestly i just delete I, like, I don't even want to deal with a person like this where they're like oh this channel's dead you're not gaining many subscribers yeah that's fine <laughs> like if i really wanted to gain subscribers i would just be reacting to tiktok videos or i would be doing things that i know get clicks for very little effort on my part but that's not what i want to do that seems completely horrible. I would burn out and I would not like myself for doing it. So yeah, I, it doesn't matter how many subscribers join each day. It doesn't matter how many views one specific video gets. If I'm really happy about the video, that's great. Like my FMC video, that was, it took a long time to put that together. It's an hour and a half long and I'm super excited about those things. Of course, I would still go back and change and alter, but I'm really happy about it. That's not going to be a hugely viewed video because it's FMC. It's fewest moves. So yeah, with all that said, I don't really care about growing the channel beyond whatever it's going to do naturally. Now, I'm sure my sponsors are not super happy about hearing that, but at least Cameron already knows this sort of thing. And I appreciate him being very, just letting me do my thing. So yeah, that that's where I am with that. And I'm, the, there are some very genuine people who follow me because they enjoy the content and they're here every video and they comment every video and I know who you are, I see you and I see all the comments, so thank you so much, I really appreciate that. This has been a whole experience that, yeah, I never expected. I've actually done career days at like middle schools and talked about being a YouTuber, which is, <laughs> comes with a lot of warnings for the kids. So, okay, another thing I wanna bring up, how do I make so many videos? There are times I do a video a day and the main thing is I am making videos all the time, like hours I will spend recording and editing. And it, it's like sometimes three, four hours a day, I am just doing video stuff. I can pump out a video really quickly, but I'm, I want to make sure lighting's good and audio's good and, and I get some effects in there and things like that. I mean, but I was spending so much time with it. And you know what? The pay isn't amazing. It's more than I thought I would ever get. I'm not gonna kind of go into it, but like there, there's there been a couple months that my home mortgage was paid for with YouTube. It fluctuates a lot depending on the season. And since COVID, it's like really dropped. It, it's really gone down. And it's not something that's paying for my mortgage anymore because of that, even though the numbers are pretty much the exact same. It's, it's a nice little bonus on top, but it's not, since it's not my main job, I'm not focused on that. I know a lot of YouTubers that they turn into, this could be my main job and I'm going to do this. And then they start a, a Patreon and they, they focus so much on what can I get the most money from. They lose why they're making the videos. I, there's a, a one channel I'm thinking of specifically where I just left. I unsubscribed because I was like, I, this is not as what it used to be. So anyways, that, that's where that is as well. Giveaways. I want to talk about that. So I have cubes I'm giving away. Right now, it's the GAN I carry. Soon I'm gonna give away a GAN M Duo. I also have the 251, uh, at least one of those I'm gonna give away. So 
As far as giveaways, I don't like to ask other companies to help me with giveaways. Like, I don't want to go to Cam and be like, hey, can I have like 50 bucks to do a giveaway? Technically, I, I, there, I have a lot of ability to do stuff like that, but I feel like that's taken advantage of him and it doesn't really help too much. It doesn't help so much with subscriber numbers. It, it actually hurts people buying cues because if they're like, oh, the Gan I Carry just came out and I'm like doing a giveaway, if I was subscribing to a giveaway, I'd be like, well, let me wait to buy one and see what happens with the giveaway. So it's it's really not the greatest thing. Um, actually, side story, the when I was doing more violin string review stuff, I had a company send me some things to give away. And I did sort of how I do here, like, oh, leave a comment, I'll pick a winner. And the company wrote me and was like, we are a little upset at how you did that. You're supposed to have people tag three friends, do this and this and this. I will never have a giveaway where I ask you to tag friends. I hate that. It, like, I just want to join a giveaway to be like, to, to you know, hopefully win, but I don't want to bug other people about it. And I don't want it to feel like, I, I, I do giveaways to give back. And these puzzles are often extras. So like this one, Speed Cube Shop sent me this after Gan already sent me theirs. This one, Gan sent me it after Speed Cube Shop sent me it. So I'm just giving it away. Now, the thing is if I, and it's always international, but if someone wins and it's international, often I'm paying like $30 out of my own pocket to ship this puzzle because international isn't cheap and I'm not a company that can get any discounts. So yeah, it's just coming out of my own pocket, but I like giving back. So that's how giveaways work. That's why they're not all the time. That's why I'm not bugging other companies to do them. I mean, if you say you want to give something away, great. If I don't have to ship it, even better. But that's what it is. And giveaways are going to keep happening just often when I have extras around. <sighs> okay, I think I'm caught up. So in the future in my life, I want to do a few things. I want to make some changes in my life and have more time for other things. Uh, I spent all yesterday just outside gardening, planting, cleaning things up around the house. I've lived in this house for over three years and have had very little time to do stuff because of other things going on. And so I'm going to cut back on what I'm doing on the channel. What does that mean? Well, one thing, if I get puzzles, like I literally, this came in from Moryu. If you know what Moryu is about to release, you know what that is. So I'm going to do a video on that very, very soon. It might be more simple, might be more of a, might even be a live stream, uh, or I might just do a quick record, do some solves, talk about it, not too much editing, just sort of a reveal first look. I actually might have it look less fancy because that way it, it feels more like, okay, I set up a camera, I'm just talking to you about this real quick about once a month, I'm gonna make a big video. That's my plan. I'm not gonna have like the first of the month, there's a video because every one month is different from the next, but every once a month, I'm just gonna do a big video. And I have some things planned. Um, I, without spoiling anything really, I was about to grab a stack, madam. I have planned something I'm going to be doing with that. That is a bigger video that I don't know exact time, but the idea is that it'll be something that is a more enjoyable, informative thing and not just, hey, here's the next cube. Or I do a video where I unbox multiple things and do a really big video on a bunch of things. Like I actually have some stuff in Speedcube Shop that I need to do a video on that I've just had no time to, to do my normal editing setup. So expect one major video per month. Uh, don't give exact date and random small videos unveiling new puzzles and just sort of a first look. That's my plan. That will give me more time to spend with uh, my dogs and my wife and not feel like I'm so stressed about all of this other stuff. And yeah, I hope everyone's okay with that. Like I said, I want to make content I am proud of and I want to make content that other people can enjoy. I might do more random live streams. Like I'm, I'm thinking about doing Twitch 
only for the fact of if I spend a half hour cubing, I would love people to just join in. So actually in the comment section, if you're still watching this, I assume you're one of those people that I'm talking about that is always there. Um, let me know if you would just prefer a YouTube live stream or Twitch live stream. I don't think I'll do a scheduled one. Um, maybe, maybe that actually will make things easier if I know scheduled times. But I think if I do like a half hour of solve, the practicing, I'll just turn on the camera, live stream it. That way there's still some content. Um, however, I don't want it to just be boring or bad content. So let me know your thoughts on that down below. And oh yeah, also in the fall, I might have more of a full-time job that's not just lessons or um, private lessons or like other gigs. I can't announce it yet because I haven't signed any contract yet, but I might be uh, basically working in a school and in doing more classroom stuff. So that's gonna really change how this YouTube thing works. <sighs> yeah, I think I've gone through it. Now, I, I don't think this is a bad thing. I, I don't think this is like the channel going down. I feel like this is a channel focusing in. So there are other channels that do just one video a month and they're some of the like biggest channels I really focus on and watch and you know I don't get those daily videos like I get from I watch like Ryu Car doing Mario Maker videos and I watch that and they're out almost every day and it's nice to watch them but I also love the videos that are much farther in between and focus on that so my my thought isn't the channels you know doing less but focusing in and I still plan to be as involved in the community people are reaching out um, I constantly am communicating with some people like Gil who has put together amazing websites that honestly have just not just changed the Cuban community but improved it and made it feel like we have our resources we have things that we can really go to so with all that said thank you everyone for for everyone for just all your support everything you've done I'm not going away but don't assume when there goes like two, three weeks without a video that something bad has happened. I want to stay and I want to keep enjoying what I'm doing. So thank you very much. Uh, please hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. As always, stop by speedcubeview.com for my news and reviews when I have time to update it.